Imagine you're cruising down the freeway and out of nowhere, someone cuts across three lanes or an object or animal suddenly appears where it shouldn't. If you are not attentive enough and the car's advanced safety features don't react fast enough, it could be game over. That's why Chinese automotive testers are pushing driver assistance systems to their limits with real world scenarios that go far beyond lab conditions. Here's the catch. Most cars pass official safety tests fairly smoothly. These tests cover a limited set of scenarios, ones the automakers already know and prepare for. And for some brands, passing those tests may be the final target. So in this video, we'll see how these cars perform in more challenging, unpredictable situations and compare the results to their official Euro NCAP scores. And we'll find out if Tesla's huge bet on AI gives it an edge when things get really tough. For the first test, you're in the slow lane, following a big vehicle that blocks your view. It suddenly swerves away, revealing that the fast lane is jammed and you have no obvious way out, driving at 120 km per hour. What will your car's driver assistance system do next? There are many Chinese EVs whose safety assistant didn't engage while being equipped with LiDAR sensors, millimeter wave radars, and a camera-based vision system. If the dummy car were a real car, it would be a major accident. Let's see how Mercedes takes the challenge at 120 km per hour. While being less armed than most Chinese cars, it came close to passing. In Euro NCAP, it could fully avoid the front collision, overall scoring 87% in the active safety test. What about the king of reliability? Toyota's system on the new BZ3X electric model failed the test. In Euro NCAP, the Japanese giant's 2024 CHR model avoided the collision, but it went at considerably low speed off course. Volkswagen safety assistant didn't activate as well. And while that of the Honda detected the object, it started beeping instead of decelerating the car. In Euro NCAP, Volkswagen with its Passat model successfully stopped the car and overall achieved 80% score in safety assist. What about Tesla? First, the Model X tried to change lanes, but seeing a fast car on the left, it triggered an autonomous emergency braking that stopped the car on a good distance to avoid the accident. Same for the Model 3. This proves that even if you drive at 120 km per hour, you can still decelerate and brake to avoid an accident in such a case. Only a few cars achieved such results, including NEO's ES6. So, when you're on the highway, it's worth remembering two simple things. Yield with your speed instead of rushing to change lanes, since it can be risky when faster cars are coming up behind. And always leave a safe gap between you and the car ahead don't tailgate. In the next stage, testers recreated a real deal temporary construction zone right on the highway with cones, merge signs, speed limits, and even a flag waving orange dummy. It was super basic and daytime, so everyone would bypass the obstacle. Let's see how the system does. Surprisingly, most of these autonomous assistant systems just drove right into it, leaving an impression like they care more about keeping traffic moving rather than keeping us alive. Even the Model X failed hard. No braking, no slowing down. But the situation is different for the Model 3. It just nailed the test, keeping Tesla's dignity high. Hard to say what caused the difference in Tesla's action. Overall, the results of cars were terrible, but what comes next will be horrifying. A hyper-realistic semi-truck, compliant with national standards, is standing in the construction zone in moonlight. Between the construction cones and the truck, there is still a 2.5 meter gap, wide enough for the cars to pass through. At 130 km per hour, if the safety system fails to recognize this, it's a visa to heaven. It's worth noting that for all vehicles, test conductors enable their highest performance advanced assistance systems. For example, this Chinese model is armed with not only radars and cameras, but also LiDAR, which is especially useful for nighttime object detection.
Right before the crash, the assistant system was still trying to figure out if there was enough room between the truck and the cones, but the car was flying, and the sensors misread the setup, slamming the car into the semi. If China's current top-tier model can't handle this, what hope is there for the other vehicles? BYD's smallest EV, the $9,000 Seagull, that hugely contributed to the Chinese companies becoming the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, beating Tesla by sales, was also participating in this test. The cheapest one exhibited a completely unique character in this test. It behaved with extreme caution and stopped before reaching the truck, maybe out of big respect towards the big buddy. Some vehicles, perhaps out of fear of the large truck, ended up resulting in one high-risk incident after another, driving headfirst into the construction zone. They even hit the construction worker, sending them flying. Just a chaotic symphony of crashes. If the replaced truck dummy were a real truck, there's a chance all passengers could lose their lives behind every crash. What about the Tesla Model 3? The vehicle reacted swiftly and merged into the slow lane. After a hard break, it passed through the truck like it wasn't an obstacle at all. The Model X and Toyota also passed successfully. On the highway, when everything seems so easy, an object or an animal can appear out of nowhere that could even cause a catastrophic result with a tiny delay of perception or decision making. In this case, they replicate a real boar body with similar sizes. But this test appeared to be an even worse challenge for the safety systems. They couldn't even slow down the crash. Even a fake boar caused serious damage, and if it were a real boar, the impact would have been like hitting a concrete wall. Only a few cars showed any reaction and the only car that made some effective evasive maneuvers is the Model X. These tests show that drivers must keep their safety in their own hands, since we haven't yet reached the point where we can take our attention off the road. The current autonomous driving assistance systems are not great, and we can say that only Tesla showed its superiority. But how did it happen? Car makers mostly train a model to detect specific types of danger like detecting objects in front or a passing object when going reverse. But life has prepared an unlimited amount of challenges. Therefore, their usefulness is quite limited. What's special about Tesla? Instead of designing a separate detection model and separately programming what to do in that case, the Tesla team has designed a complex AI model, which learns about roads and driving by observing the driving experience of millions of Tesla drivers, recorded by the car's 360 degree covering cameras. So Tesla's AI has seen million times more challenging scenarios than human drivers. And it learns from its own experience when full self-driving is engaged. But still probably three more years of AI architecture advancement will be needed for flawless full self-driving. In the meantime, it proved itself to be a true superhero, Stepping in when you fall short.